Hey guys, you know what time it is. Time for another unboxing. This is the February 2019 Keto Crate. And let's just jump into it. It's like the first time every time, you know? Okay, so lots of good things. I see a bunch of bars already. Let's see, the best tasting ketogenic chocolate ever. Pretty big shoes. Chocolate perfection, if you say so. Chocolate perfection, introducing Koya Keto. Just, okay, a whole bunch of coupon codes. Like, I'm not here for the coupons. I will recycle them. Okay, the first thing I see, Primal Kitchen Coconut Lime Protein Bar. Well, first of all, it's more like a protein square, but that's totally okay. So, this looks delicious. Coconut Lime, love both of those things. To be honest though, Primal Kitchen, like, I really want to love their Chipotle mayo and I just don't like, but I am very interested to try this. That's exciting. More Coco Polo, elderberry this time. Don't know what an elderberry is. Looks kind of like a grape. Uh, I am very excited to try this. Uh, I received, I received, I think the hazelnut one in a previous keto crate, high quality stuff. Love good fats. I've been seeing these all over the interwebs lately, so I'm really excited to try this rich chocolatey almond snack bar. Two grams of sugar, 14 grams of fat, nine grams of protein. How many net carbs is that? So we have 12 minus eight is four, and there's two grams of sugar and two grams of added sugar. So unless this is allulose, I'm not really sure what's happening here. Okay, so this has IMO, so I'll be interested to see what this does to my blood glucose, but I will definitely be trying it. Choco Perfection, the people that claim to have the best tasting choco bar, raspberry dark chocolate, like, oh, you guys, I don't mix fruit and chocolate. Comment below, do you mix fruit and chocolate? Like those chocolate covered oranges and things like that? Like, no, I don't want that. I want chocolate and then I want fruit and I want them separately. Ah, I mean, of course I'm gonna try this, but let's see, two grams of net carbs per bar, so that is good. Um, it had, oh gosh, 22 grams total carbs, 12 of those are fiber, and then eight is erythritol. So, yeah, so it looks like the fiber is chicory root fiber. Uh, I'm gonna try this. Maybe my palate is evolving and maybe I do like freaking fruit and chocolate. Oh my God, yay, a Nush Cake. I've also seen these around the interwebs. I've had these before. Matt and Mega gave me one uh, when I was down there to visit them. 13 grams of fat, total grams of carbs, 19 grams. Then we have 11 of sugar alcohol, which takes us down to eight. And then four of those are fiber, so it takes us down to four grams of net carbs per cake. Um, the texture is just a smidgen weird to me. I mean, these are really good. And of course, I'm probably comparing it to regular cake, which it will never be. Um, but it is spongy and it's really good. And I've seen a ton of people put butter on top of these and, and or a cream cheese frosting of their choice. And that's probably what I will do when I eat this is just top it with some butter. And I bet that does enhance the flavor a ton. No cookies, no better cookies. Like, I'm sorry you guys, I cannot get over the big rigmarole that happened, what, it's like a year, year and a half ago now? Like where no cookies was putting just regular sugared chocolate chips in their cookies and not telling you about it. I mean, of course, since then they've changed, they've changed the formula of their chocolate chips, but that whole thing just put a bad taste in my mouth. Um, so, but maybe this peanut butter cookie will not put a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, I'm gonna try all this stuff just because, you know, one cookie, even if it does knock you out of ketosis for what, you know, a few hours, that's not gonna stop me from reaching my goals. So I do plan to try this and I may, you know, I'll, I'll definitely be testing my blood sugar with all of these things just because I'm a crazy person. But like, whenever you're doing packaged foods and treats like this, like, you just really have to know how it impacts you because there's a whole bunch of ingredients that you don't have at your house. Parm crisps, oh my gosh, brick oven pizza flavor. Now we've definitely seen some brick oven pizza shrewd foods, but I have not seen these brick oven parm crisps. Um, okay, three servings per container, 
that puts us at three grams of carbs. I mean, that's not bad. I would definitely eat this whole container here. So this would, nice, this would be a nice little snack. Keto carne, zero carbs, zero sugar beef jerky. Uh-oh, look at that word right there, spicy. Absolutely, I am very excited. Now, as I told you, I'm not really a meat sticks person. I like jerky better and I like spicy the best. So hopefully this really is spicy and it won't make me sad. Let's see, there's two and a half servings per container. All of it is zero carb. Two and a half grams of fat and a ton of protein. So I would definitely probably just limit this to one ounce, uh, which is a serving, just so I'm not going crazy on protein. Oh, here's a meat stick. Big John's Hickory Smoke Snack Stick. Don't know if I would ever try this, but you know, the good thing about meat sticks is that they keep for a very long time. So it's like, I could definitely take these when I'm traveling or I can just save up a bunch and just do a huge giveaway one day and send somebody all my meat sticks. Ketology, Keto Shake, Ketogenic Nutrition Shake, Strawberry. So let's see here. You add approximately 10 to 12 ounces of water or your favorite unsweetened nut milk. You add the sachet, they call this a sachet. I love that already, of the powder, and then you blend and enjoy. So this has 25 grams of fat, 14 grams of protein, that's really good. 17 grams of total carbs and seven fiber. Okay, so that's 10, that puts us out at 10, and then eight of these are erythritol. So two grams of carbs for 300 calories, that's not bad. Oh, bubble wrap, super legit. Ella's Flats, all seed savory crisps, caraway with pink Himalayan salt. Scrumptious for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and entertaining. Just say scrumptious to eat like whenever you want to. Made in sunny Florida, I won't hold that against you. LOL, I love all my Floridians out there. Okay, so let's see, there are two servings per container, but I would definitely just eat this whole thing. So per the whole container, there are six grams of net carbs. That's not too bad, actually. Get you some guacamole, a cheese dip of sorts. This would be a great little snack, like on the weekend or something. I'm here for this. Okay, and then we, oh my gosh, we have front porch pecans, but I was looking at the flavor, habanero barbecue. Now guys, I really don't know how I feel about hot flavored nuts, like, in my opinion, nuts are a sweet treat, so putting a savory flavor on them really makes me feel some sort of way. Okay, okay, wait a minute. How does it say habanero barbecue, but then it also says mild? Like, habanero and mild should not go together. Like, that. Uh, well, I'm still gonna try them, but like, that just kind of deflated my excitement balloon just a smidge. All right, let's look in here. All right, that is it. And overall, I'm very pleased. I like bars the best because those are something that I will most likely eat and try to incorporate into my diet. Meat steaks and beef jerky, those things are good. I'll try those. Uh, and these nuts, I'm gonna have to see when I feel like getting crazy, you know? Comment down below with which product you would be most excited to try or if you've tried any of these, let me know how you like them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, and a monthly keto crate unboxing. Thanks so much and I'll see you next month.